Hey, Henry. William, it's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well, and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. I see. Well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in time. I know, but please keep safety in mind. Above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project. Okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Greetings, Night Guard. Congratulations on making it to Night 4. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. You're doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Uh, feels like it's been bit in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows, maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment, I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well, it's better for you to look at it. Uh, a notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fredbear's family. Yes. That's outrageous. I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right, I understand. <clears throat> now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or distorted voices, 
It's probably just our new front bear roaming around. You know how these things go, always causing trouble. We're working on fixing its music box, which is also supposed to make him talk. But in the meantime, just remember to keep that door shut if it gets too close to your office. Alrighty then, keep up the good work, and I'll get you on the flip side.
Hello, William. How are things going with the new restaurant? Busy, but we're on track for a successful opening tomorrow. Glad to hear it. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Of course, I don't need anyone telling me how to run my business. And those employees who think otherwise can find work elsewhere. Uh, understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? Elizabeth has been with me at work for the past few days. But as for Michael and Evan, they've been influenced by their mother's lies. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager. And Evan is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. Frankly, I'd rather keep my distance from them for the time being. They're at home at the moment. I see. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? It's not worth the effort. She's always been self-centered, doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant, shall we? Uh, sure, but don't forget about your family. They're important too. I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now if there's nothing else, I have work to do. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time for your pity. I'll talk to you soon. Hello? Hey, good job, night five. Um, hey, um, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? I just finished checking the CCTV camera footage and everything seems to be in order. You're doing great so far, but I need you to stay alert. We can't let anything go wrong, especially now. Now listen, I know things have been a bit strange lately. The building and the other restaurants are closed, and the police are still investigating the disappearance of around six children. It's a serious matter, and we're doing everything we can to help the authorities. Yet, for some reason, police seem to think we're covering up evidence. But let me tell you something, that's not possible unless someone from our company is involved. And I can assure you, we're not involved in any way. For Christ's sake, one of those children belongs to one of the founders of this place. The poor kid disappeared about a month ago. And it breaks my heart to think about it. We will get to the bottom of this, though. Whoever is behind these incidents will pay if something bad happened to those kids. And for the damage they've done to our company's reputation, you can count on that. In the meantime, keep up the good work. Check on those animatronics and let's finish this week strong. And when this is all over, mark my words, we'll take this company to new heights. We'll have entire malls dedicated to our lovable characters. The future's looking bright, my friend. Anyway, I gotta run to the cinema to catch Electric Eel 2. The Slithering. Love the first one, you know. <laughs> Alright, good luck tonight, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow.
She's waiting for you. She wants to play. It has been many years since the incident that changed everything. I have done unforgivable things since then. The missing children. It was all my doing. But do not mistake my confidence for remorse, for I am not sorry. My animatronics were always meant to be more than mere entertainers. They were created to wield fear to evoke terror and bring forth the ultimate consequence, death. Oh, Elizabeth, my sweet Elizabeth. She failed to listen to me and she became the unfortunate victim of a programming error, a mere flaw in my creation. But I could not bear the burden of responsibility for that would tarnish my flawless image. Instead, I pushed the blame away onto others, for I could not admit fault. And then there was Charlotte, Henry's daughter. I could not bear to see him bask in all his happiness and receive all the credit for our work. My jealousy consumed me, and I had to take matters into my own hands. Do not think for a moment that I fear the consequences of my actions. I am not guilty, not in my mind. I meticulously crafted the evidence to make it appear as though Henry was the one responsible, for I had bigger plans in mind. Plans that require my full attention and dedication. I have built a new place for my new creations. A place that will instill wonder and fear into the heart of all who bear witness. And soon, I will reveal what is coming next.